Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Arlene. I'm happy that you're tuned in to Children's Liturgy this morning, and I hope that you and your family are staying safe and well. As we gather this morning, we come to give praise and glory and honor to our God and to thank Him for all He has done for us, our families, and our world. We'll begin with a prayer. And as I raise my hand, I would like for you to repeat after me, how great is your love, O God. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Because all of our gifts and talents come from you, O Lord, you know what each of us are able to do. How great is your love, O Lord. You give each of us something special to do in our life. How great is your love, O Lord. When we use our talents for the good of your kingdom, you will give us a share of your own happiness. How great is your love, O Lord. In today's first reading, St. Paul tells us that when Jesus returns, it will be scary for some people who live in the darkness of sin, but it will be happy for those people who live in the light of God's love and truth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, I do not need to write you about the time or date when this will happen. You surely know that the Lord's return will be as a thief in the night. People will think they are safe and secure, but destruction will suddenly strike them like the pains of a woman about to give birth. And they will not escape. My dear friends, you do not live in darkness and so that day will not surprise you like a thief. All of you belong to the light and live in the day. We do not live in the night or belong to the dark. Others may sleep, but we should stay awake and be alert. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Can we say that? The Lord is my light and my salvation. You, Lord, are the light that keeps me safe. I am not afraid of anyone. You protect me and I have no fears. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Lord, I know I will live to see how kind you are. I trust the Lord. Be brave and strong and trust the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. I, I love Jesus. You, you love Jesus. We, we love Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. In today's gospel, Jesus tells a story to explain what will happen at the end of time. Let us hear the story from the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the gospel of St. Matthew. May the word of God be in my mind, on my lips, 
and always in my heart. Jesus told his disciples this story about the kingdom of God. The kingdom is like what happened when a man went away and put his three servants in charge of all that he owned. The man knew each of his servants was capable of doing great things. So he handed 5,000 coins to one servant, 2,000 coins to the second servant, and 1,000 to the third. And then he left the country. Sometimes later, the master of those servants returned and he called them in and said, what have you done with the money that I gave you? The servant who had been given 5,000 coins bought in 5,000 coins that he had earned in addition. He said, sir, you gave me 5,000 coins and I have earned 5,000 more. Wonderful, his master replied. You are a good and faithful servant. I left you in charge of only a little, but now you have brought back much and I will give you the kingdom. Come and share in my happiness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, let's review what Jesus said to his disciples. There was a master who had three servants and he gave them gifts. To one servant, he gave 5,000 coins. To another servant, he gave two. And to the last servant, he gave one. Now, what is Jesus trying to tell us in this parable? I think he's trying to say that he, God the Father, is just like the master who gives us gifts or talents or abilities. Now, talents and abilities are something that we do and we do well. And Jesus expects us to use our talents. And we're born with these talents. And just like the master in the story, God does not give us all the same talent. Some have a better talent than others. Some are great artists. Some are great football players. Some are great cooks. If you sew well, that's a talent. You're a seamstress. But God also gives us talents that maybe we can be a good listener, to listen to some of the problems that other people have and offer them solutions. Sometimes we can just be a help to our parents. The gift of helps is a great gift. So we just need to remember that the gifts that we're born with we have to share them with someone else. So what are your gifts today? Can you think of a gift that you have that you can use for God's glory and an honor? What I want you to do today is think about what gift has God given me and how can I share it with someone else? So think about that. God has gifted you with a special gift and a special assignment that only you can fill for him. So ask him today, Lord, what is your gift, your special gift that only I have that I can use for you and to build up your kingdom here on earth? We will now do our profession of faith and you will please respond I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who taught us to use our gifts wisely? I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, who uses our gifts to build up the church on earth? I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life? I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church who needs the special gifts of each one of us? I do believe. The Prayer of the Faithful. As children of light and members of God's holy family, the church, 
Let us pray for the good of each person in our church and in our world. And your response is, hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That our Holy Father, all the bishops and priests, and all sisters and brothers will use their gifts for the good of the entire church, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. That the leaders of every nation on earth will use their gifts to achieve justice for the poor and peace for everyone, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. That each of us here will use our gifts to add to the lives of everyone we know through love, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. If you have a petition of your own right now, you may ask God right now. Loving God, we thank you for the many gifts that you have given your children. May we learn to use our gifts wisely and learn to appreciate the gifts of others through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we'll end with the Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glad to have been with you today, boys and girls. I hope that you will tune in again next week. But until then, don't forget to use your gifts. And remember to download the handout.